My favorite cookie dough cookie cookie dough cookie. I, that's what I named it, okay? Because it tastes like cookie dough, whatever. Okay, that's besides the point. I'm making chocolate chip cookies that are vegan. If you don't want it to be vegan, you can swap out really just chia seeds and butter for non-vegan options like egg and actual butter. I think that's all the vegan. Chocolate chips. I have vegan chocolate chips. So you can use this recipe for non-vegan alternatives too. I'll just like have all the ingredients like in a text in the video right here. And then you could like pause it and just check it out. So before you do anything else, <laughs> I like to start with doing my egg replacement, which is one tablespoon of chia seeds for three tablespoons of water. My recipe calls for two eggs, so that'll be two tablespoons of chia seeds and six tablespoons of water, which I have here. And I do this first because it takes like 15 minutes. Or you know, if you want egg, then just do eggs. <laughs> Disregard all of this. So yeah, I like to stir them just to make sure they're all mixed with the water. So I'm gonna let that sit for like 15 minutes while I grab all my other ingredients. Yeah. They're so gloopy. Hmm? They're so gloopy. Yeah. First, mix butter and sugar together. So melted butter. These are not melted. This is the Earth Balance Vegan Buttery Sticks. They're pretty good. I like the Miyoko's kind. The grocery store was out for some reason. <laughs> so I'm gonna melt these in the bowl. Well, I'm gonna put them in the bowl and then I'm gonna melt them in the microwave for like 30 seconds and then I'll like give it a swirl and I'll do another 30 seconds. Now does the foil go in the microwave? Foil for sure 100% goes in the microwave. Just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> Well, if you don't know why you shouldn't do that, then I'm sure there's a YouTube video for that. <laughs> Just look it up. Foil in microwave. Fun fact, I put a Choco Taco in the microwave when I was a kid. Because it was too cold. Okay, nobody needs my personal story. That's it, how I learned. Did it work? No. It was just popping and cracking, and I was just like, what's happening? I was really young. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the microwave. This is after like 30 seconds, so I just like swirl it to help melt the butter. Um, so I'm going to do another 30 seconds. Until it's fully melted. It's all melty now. Yeah. Oh, you need one cup of butter. Each stick was half a cup of butter, so that's why there was two sticks. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to mix the butter with my sugars. One cup of white sugar. This is a lot of sugar. It's delicious. Give some to your neighbors. <laughs> Maybe not right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a clean as you go kind of person. Okay. So, brown sugar. Boom. Then you mix them all together. I have a hand mixer, which I like a lot. I should have assembled this probably way sooner. You could do a video on how to assemble a hand mixer. How to assemble. Step one, plug it in. Struggle with a hand mixer. mixer. All right, so you just mix it. The next step is to just add in all your other ingredients now um, in whatever fashion you like. Then you're gonna need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then a half a teaspoon of salt. Just a sense of my hesitation. So I used up one teaspoon and I bought half of it. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna do one teaspoon of baking soda dissolved in two teaspoons of hot water. So a teaspoon, get two teaspoons of hot water. Now we have our <laughs> tablespoon of baking soda that I'm helping to dissolve in hot water. I don't understand this stuff, but it works, okay? Yeah, it's gonna be added with you know other liquids anyway. I don't know, I just do it. Isn't this your recipe? I'm just advocating for it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna need two cups of flour. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. There we go. And then chia seeds is, oh my gosh. Everywhere. Right Our last ingredient. I want to show you guys the consistency of it. So yeah, this is what you want. Like you see this, this is a binding agent. So this is going to take place of your egg. And then you mix it all together. Now I'm going to do my chocolate chips. Oh, look at that. It's so good. It is so good. So you can put however much you want. Who am I to tell you how much chocolate chips you want to put in your cookies? 
Um, the recipe calls for like half a cup, but I just put in like an amount that works for me. I don't know, whatever looks good. All right, so now I'm gonna mix all these guys and I'm pretty much ready to go. Oh my gosh. Like right. half the recipe in the mixer alone. I call licking those. So there's your mix. Like do like a cookie amount and you're gonna bake them for 10 minutes at 325 in your oven. This makes them like kind of gooey and soft, so that's why I like my cookies. They'll be super like delicate right after baking because they're super warm, but once they like settle, they'll be super warm. And you can eat that raw cookie though. Yeah, you can eat it raw if it's vegan. So that's cool because you don't have to worry about salmonella because there's no egg. So I also like to leave some of them to like some cookie dough balls to freeze because it's super good. 10 out of 10, highly recommend tastes like uh like the cookie dough that's in um cookie dough ice cream the non-vegan type cookie dough it's so good so i'm gonna put these in for 10 minutes i highly recommend doing like some to like put in the freezer and also it helps because like then i don't have to bake so many so this is what they look like I think I made them a little small, so I'm gonna do my next batch a little bigger. You, you do want the browning around the edges, though. That's how you know it's done. Soft, so you just gotta be like, hey, you gentle. And then they'll settle, maybe give them like 10, 15 minutes to like fully cool before you have one. But these are the kind of cookies that are super bomb, like tomorrow, like the next day. Do more heftier spoonfuls. Mine aren't really balls, but like, you know, who cares? Unrealistic standards, you know? Not here. So these are probably most definitely gonna like blend into each other, but I will tell you they're like, those ones, like tomorrow, are like the ones that top notch. Premium. So I just wanna film, like, show you how delicate you gotta be with these. There we go. Cause they're really big and soft, so you get just gotta like, you know, be very delicate. They're real gooey. Yeah, super gooey. Just be gentle. And then let them cool, like don't touch them. So yeah, these are if you want them to be like bigger and gooier, which I like them like that. Cool. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where you bit out of it, I can, I can tell. It's just like gooey. Oh yeah, they're like cookie doughy on the inside. Mm-hmm. You can see. They're so good. And it's vegan, so it works for me. <laughs> yeah, works for the I animals I made this too. recipe so many times. How many? Four or five? Maybe? Sounds right. Enough to where I was like, I need to make a video about this. The world must know. Share it with the world. <laughs> oh, well. No. Chewing sound, chewing sound. So, yeah, this makes like 28 cookies I counted. No, that number might be a little different because I ate a lot of the dough, but that ish amount is how much you get. Um, yeah. Bye.